Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, I3J Season 6 Draft. Happy Friday. we got a week night ahead of us with uh, 12 rounds of drafting. And uh, we have the Silver Knights up first with the first overall pick this year in the Season 6 Draft. It's going to be an exciting one. we got uh, a couple new owners as well, which uh, we look forward to seeing uh, perform. And uh, we also have some oldies coming back. Uh, today I'm going to host there with uh, Wolves with Armor. He's uh, my co-host. He's going to help along the way and uh, try and keep this as less boring as possible, but at the same time, uh, keep it going as a nice mix. Oh yeah, Ram, this is going to be a great draft. we got a lot of good players in this one. Like, I've been looking at the draft list. I don't even know who's going first round or second round. It's all up in the air, and we've got... You do owners in the league, and that always adds an element of unpredictability, which everyone loves, depending on who you are. So this should be a great draft. This should be one of the best the Jays ever had. Absolutely. Uh, every year I see drafts like this, I kind of wish I was owning again. Um, I definitely hope to come back one day, but uh, yeah, super deep. That's, it's because you're old. Because I'm old there, yeah. Well, yeah uh, you're you're, you're old. <laughs> Just got confirmation from uh, Chowder saying first pick we're going to drop at 7.40, so that's about three minutes away. Um, yeah, looking at the draft list, it's hard to determine uh, who to pick first and who you should pick first. Uh, we have a new system in play from last season where players are affiliated to teams instead of teams affiliated to I3, so that changes up a lot on how teams could potentially draft. Um, I know if I was drafting, I'd kind of try and stay away from grabbing guys that are probably going to get snagged by I3, but uh, it's, you never know how it's going to work out for everyone, so. Yeah, yeah, it'll uh, it'll be an interesting draft, and uh, we've got a lot of new guys because uh, some other leagues have apparently had some struggles, so we've definitely absorbed some... Uh, uh, some roster space from that like there's a lot of big names in here that i know from other leagues that aren't uh, mm -hmm. aren't a regular i3 guys so yeah. this should be it should be extra fun yeah absolutely and then uh yeah i mean even the management looks good all the way down the top i know we had a lot of extra people apply and it was hard to make a final decision on a few but uh this goes to show for a summer season also broke the record for most signups, so that's uh, another huge, huge factor. And uh, yeah. yeah, and for for a summer season, usually summer is you know that's like the the dead season, right? Yeah, we'll see though. I guess uh, everyone wants to get in a bit and see how people's availability pan out, and it could uh, yeah, it could be a, one of the best seasons we've had yet. You know, looking at this draft list, it's almost scary to pick some of these guys first round because, you know, I don't, I don't want to pick someone first round and then tomorrow it's like, oh yeah, they're, uh, they're going to I three, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a tough way. I mean, we try to. I know Chowder adjusted it to do uh, like I was just mentioning how we do the players um, associated with teams now. So I, I could help. I, it's hard to to say, right? What's beneficial I, more? I like that system much much better than tying a team to a team yeah well, yeah if you, had, if you had a if you had a failing team in i3 it, it almost doomed their j counterpart because they were just taking whatever they could right yeah and then you bump heads with the your affiliate and stuff like that and then this way you don't really have an affiliate to bump heads with because they're randomly assigned right to each yeah. team so. exactly so who's got first pick here? We got uh, the Gav and uh, Deke. Deke, or who's the GM with him? Goose. It's Goose, Goose. and uh, or, um, what, what did he change his name to there? E Drifty and uh, Gav Nasty. All right. Well, we'd have our first pick on the clock, and right off the hop, they took no time but to take. Uh, Ala in chains. He's been a huge I3 pick. And, and the time he's been in here, he's always been a top contender. Uh, so that's a huge first pick for, for Gav. 
in this overnight. I, I knew I knew Ala was going first round. I had Ala for two seasons, and he's a great player. And Gav had him last season on Niagara, so I knew Gav knew who Ala was. You know, this season he actually signed up as a center, which is interesting because he's always been a defenseman, but he does have a good offensive game. So we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah, it's a good pick, man. Go with guys you know. Go with guys you played with. Go with guys you don't think are going to go to the I three. Is it's a safe way to do it. The only the only rough thing about Allah is he is picky who he plays with. You kind of have to cater to him a little bit. I'm and I owned him for two seasons. I'm not just talking yeah, talking yeah. trash here, you know. But hey, he's a first round pick, first overall. He's gonna, you know, that his ego just got even higher to get catered to. So. <laughs> We're waiting on Nunavut now. He's got the second overall pick. Coast is lined up here typing. Um, one on line, Wonder Coast. And he goes right off the hop. He goes right for Alpha X, falling right off the hop. Ooh. These guys are uh, skipping the I3 guys that are kind of left in the pot, which is smart. Thumbs up, man. He's picking another man. guy he's played with locks. And... You know, I had Alpha on Ontario and... Uh... I don't know. I don't know if he's really a first rounder in this draft, to be honest. There's a lot of guys. I no, mean, good for true. Coast. Coast knows what he's doing, but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Second overall. Yeah, that's a shock. A bit of a shocker. I wouldn't have I think, would have thought. Uh, uh, I think it's a bit of a reach, but I mean, maybe Alpha's upped his game. I don't know. I didn't really see him much last season, so. Well, we got Chicago unknown and uh, Digo back uh, representing uh, the Chicago. He took a season off, came back, uh, and got his role back as vice president. He's been around for ages, and he uh, took his took a team there this season. He took the Chicago Unknown, and he's on the clock right now. Uh, uh, experienced owner, and um, he's always been in the top contending teams from when I remember. I've been here. I think this is my third or fourth season, and uh, yeah, he's a good owner, and he always picks the contending team. So. We'll, Interesting to see who he's going to take here. Yeah. Yeah, Digo, Digo is a good owner. Digo has picked <clears throat> GBNB. Not sure. I definitely heard him what position he is, but uh, there's your third overall pick. He's a goalie. Okay, okay so... So you guys know some about him because I don't. I actually don't know this guy at all, to be honest. He's an Algier, I'm pretty sure, and uh, and his name LGHL, I think. Yeah. We've got Ontario Wolves and uh, Crap Bag. That good old Chad, man. Chad's Chad's taking it this season. I think he's ready. Right. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Right on. That's nice. Put the hands in Chad. You've been with him long enough, and he's seen as much as you have. So, uh, I'm sure he's got it under control. It's the fourth overall pick here. He's sure taking his sweet time. I guess uh, your pick didn't go unless it was Ala. So far, since you had four, is a good spot to have. Yeah, uh, you know, a lot of people... A lot of people asked us if in all the first round, and you know, I we weren't yeah. really looking at it. Oh, this is a huge pickup, Marky Mark. Ontario yeah, just came in and picked. He, really? uh, <clears throat> he's a beast. <clears throat> he, uh, yeah. he was harassing me in the off season to get him in through the I3J Discord because uh, I guess he got forgot about and he really wanted to sign up. And he's definitely a competitive player and. Uh, it's a huge pick for you guys with the fourth yeah. overall. And right to Minnesota. Ooh, that scrabs Eichel. Mr. Eichel. Uh, he, he's he's a good player, man. He's solid. You can't really right. say a lot of bad things about Eichel. No, definitely not. He's uh he'd say he doesn't deserve to go in the first round, he'd go in the last, he'd tell you, but uh he knows he's wrong and we know he's wrong and he deserves the definitely to be chosen in the in the first round, definitely could play an I three level as well. Ooh, defending champs. What is Toronto's first pick of the new season as the defending champions? And it looks like Peacock's doing the drafting tonight, and he goes back to back. This will be the third season in a row 
Not that they've picked Quino, but they that they've had them on have him on the team. They picked Quino at uh, six overall. Yeah, that's a good pick. You knew he was going first round. You know what sucks for Toronto a little bit is a big help to them winning the championship last season was uh, Beefy. And oh, yeah. Beefy, I don't believe Beefy is signed up this season, is he? No, I, I didn't know. see him on yeah, the list. Yeah, I didn't see him on the list. And Beefy's a key player, man. He's a good guy, and he's, yeah. you know, he, he, can, he can play the game. And, uh, yep, so with the six, we got Queen out of Toronto Goat. That's his third season. He'll be playing there. That's a good pick. Off to Cape Breton, and Mac picks Teal. 17. <laughs> Ooh. Is that the hey, same well, Teal yeah. that owned last season? Yes, it is. Like, hey, I'll give it, I'll give, I'm going to give Teal this. He is a terrible owner. He knows it. He was fed up with it. He hated his life. Feel bad. Um, All the players are being a pain in the ass, but he, he can play hockey. Uh, he was six of players originally, but he's decent all, all around on the ice. So, Mac uh, must be already up in his DMs and get over here we just got you so seventh overall you know what i'll get i'll give it I'll, I'll give it to mac i did not see that coming first round neither did i and uh, i'm sure you'll be giving that to mac for a bit but teal the right. good pick. moving on sarnia just grabbed uh nxch first round i believe that used to be malkin if i'm not mistaken oh yeah niche he's yeah. a goalie i think uh, he, he, I think he signed up as a goalie, but he's kind of utility. He can utility, he can, yeah. Yeah, he can move around. I think I played him last night, and that that was pretty uh, bamboozled. But uh, yeah, he's a solid G, and I think he's in LG too. Uh, in our yeah. good old C. And next up, we got we got Newf- my man in Newfoundland, Dirty Michelle. Uh, Dirty Michelle, love the oh, mother. Oh man, the mother. Yeah, he's, he's hilarious. That guy's funny. Classic OG, best guy to have in the party is Noof and, is Noof and uh, Dirty. They're hilarious. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they got character to them, that's for sure. Who do you think they're going with? Because Dirty Michelle's taking his time. Ooh, XX215. Oh, shit. That's a huge pick. That's a good pick. I've been playing a lot with 215, believe it or not. Uh, and doing some late night threes and stuff, and he's still got a touch to him, so that's uh, you know what, yeah. But 215, he's one of the guys that I would be scared to pick to get called up. No, I know, yeah, but he should have got drafted then, maybe. I think it's his, his schedule is trash, eh? Because he's on our LG team, too, and right, he's a firefighter, so. All right, we got smooth with the Veradero Lizards, the Florida Kraken rebrand. What do they got? They select Brown X19. You know Brown? It must be a GT change. I I think it's another sixes player that's pretty elite. I can't say for sure. Okay, because uh, I uh, I don't know this name didn't. at all. I've seen him around. I can't uh, put a finger on it. I'm thinking it's a GT change maybe because I don't think it's an original. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you got Smooth and orbit in there they know the community really well so i'm sure they picked him knowing uh you know something good out of it so they take brown 10th overall and we got texas on the clock a new owner in uh who's the owner of texas is it doom nikki p no oh, it's nikki p doom is a gm the gm yeah nikki p and doom two new guys that uh have been in the child community for a while and both pretty skillful players so uh, if they can draft pretty good, they'll be able to keep up and, uh, and maybe make a name for themselves in their first season here. The Texas Wranglers, I kind of like that name. They go with Bardsy. Bardsy. My boy Bardsy. Uh, that's a pretty decent pick. Oh, whoa. Moo <laughs> Chowder just smacked. Whoa. Holy. That's a spam. I think it's I think it's Razor Gods drafting for Tennessee because uh, Nathan's at work right now. He's not at work. He's at Subway. Well, yeah, he works awesome. at Subway. 
I know. I know. It's hilarious that picture he just. Uh... Oh, and he's look. He's still typing. Is he? Is he drafting at work? No, I think. Uh, I think uh, they're gonna be talking. Man, to I'll tell you, that these kids these days, man, they got no work ethic. He's, he's drafting at work. He's probably trying to make uh, some poor lady sandwich right now, and he's like, "Hold on, excuse me, I gotta draft." I thought I saw him say something like they'd be talking back and forth, uh, but Razor's uh, knows a lot of people too, so I, I don't see why he wouldn't uh, be afraid to let him. Uh, oh, they're draft. taking Bure and Bear Tuzi off the rip for two. That's a good rip, man. The double Bs. Not gonna lie, Bure. Potential call up, but maybe playing with Rodent uh, and his avail could keep him down here. Bertuzzi is a solid uh, D man. Yeah, someone was saying that Bure was going to have some pretty questionable availability. I don't remember who said that, but somebody yeah. said it. Uh, we were talking about it today in I3 because he'd left the server and then Child got him back. So uh, just, right, so he doesn't, right. just so he's not taking a ban for nothing. He, he admitted he had pretty bad avail and he wasn't sure, but. I mean, I, I only put two to three days on my avail, and uh, if you can put two days, like nobody's playing more than three days anyways, because you're nine game max a week. Yeah, so. yeah, your week cap is nine. If yeah. you can, if you can squeeze two days out, you know, or even one, it helps any team as long as you just show up around, you know, when an owner needs you for one or two of those days a week. It's, uh, I mean, full availability is what everyone wants, but. So much changes especially in the summer here cottages sundays are the toughest for a lot of people to get back to after a cottage or a vacation or time away so yep absolutely we got texas on the clock here and uh if they don't hurry up they're gonna get skipped you know yeah crap bag going after uh you better give them a warning oh, <laughs> Hey man, crap bag is gonna do what crap bag does, okay? He's a funny guy though, I'll give him that. He oh, he's a great, his, uh, great guy. His, yeah, his humor is uh is kinda needed in Discords. It's very uh very funny. Texas so is got, taking Brooksy. They got the BBs as well, Bardsy and Brooksy yeah. with uh, with pick fourteen and pick uh eleven here. Yeah, I had Brooksy uh, a few seasons ago. He can definitely win you games, but he's a little... He's toxic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, smooth. Fair Darrow coming back with Gibby. You know what? I, I actually thought Gibby was going to go first round. I didn't think he, he was going to make it to the second round. He's a goalie, eh? So Gibby the goalie? I don't think he's a goalie. Or is he defense? Yeah, I thought he was a skater. Yeah, I think he's the top D, eh? Yeah, uh, John Vince, Smood, Smood always drafts good, so I'm not going to question Smood. Yeah, right on. That's a good pick then. Yep. A dirty Michelle coming around for round two. Well, big shout out to uh, Sally again for putting them together this stream back to back nights. Um,. Yeah, yeah, Sally's awesome. Man, that's huge. And uh, Cheesy for doing yesterday's uh, stream and broadcast. That was huge as well. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here today, so you got to listen to my shitty voice, my little girl voice. Um, Your little girl voice, right? But, uh, you know, huge shout out to him. Chow as well. Every season puts in uh, blood, sweat, and tears into both leagues. Huge shout out to Chada because uh, none of this would be happening without the work ethic he's put into all this. I know he has a bunch of uh, soldiers in his uh, staff that help out here and there, but uh, at the end of the day, this guy's putting in the work. All right, Dirty Noose. Michelle taking whales. New and Dirty go with whales with their 15th, 16th pick overall. That's uh, Whales is a solid defenseman. He's a good defenseman. And I think, to be honest, they went and did that because maybe they were going for Gibby. And Wales is uh, top notch with Labatt. And, uh, but yeah, I don't know that much. I'm just get, here guessing on the other end. You're speculating now. Well, it, it kind of looks like it would make sense because Wales is a good, good D man too. And uh, that could have been it. We got Sarnia banging off their 17th overall pick with Yiki Numbas. 
No idea. Never heard uh, of them. Nope. No idea here either. And uh, that's okay, though. This is a new owner. Could have been someone they recruited. Uh, I know. That's hey, maybe, maybe, maybe Max going to select Teal again for round two. Hey, Teal time <laughs> two. Teal X two, bud. <laughs> oh, fly, Marty McFly. Fly 25. I don't know who that is either. Marty McFly? It just says fly 25. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's uh... Hey, we got the uh, Toronto Goat picking up Varley or Varlamov. Wow, solid there they go. Solid goalie. It's a solid goalie. They just picked another player from their cup team. They got a tactic going on here, and that's uh, that's cool. Minnesota jumping on the clock and right away going after Focus. Focus 27. I forget who that is. Do you know uh, Offhead? Uh, I know I had him on Ontario a few seasons ago. He's a good player. He was a goalie. I don't know if he's still signed up as a goalie or not. I don't have the list in front of me, but he was a good player. Right on. You've had everyone right. on Ontario. That's what happens when you're here for a long time. I know, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, crap bag. What do we got for round two? Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on. How did you get that name, crap bag? I gave it to him. Mm. Ooh, Caverlay, <laughs> calling me daddy. Ooh, the, <laughs> the guy, the guy you would have paid anything for an NV for me. <laughs> yeah, and you didn't trade him. You screwed me on that hey. too. You're long gone out of there, bud. We're in the playoffs. GG's. That's a good pickup. He's a great locker room guy. Great uh, all we had, around. We had, a, we had him last season. We loved him. Oh, he's a great dedicated uh, guy. Nice guy. And he plays the game a lot. So, you know, he's uh, his thumbs are always warmed up and ready to go. I mean, he's not so great when he messages you at 3 a.m. asking if you miss him. Hey, he just misses you, I think. Yeah, well, don't miss me at 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah, not Wolves. Wolves in bed at 9.45. Unless he's got yeah. LP. I'm almost as old as you, Ram. Hey, hey, hey. Switch numbers around. So we got uh, Chicago and Digo back on the clock here for their second pick as we round down uh, the round number two. How lazy was Digo, man? He couldn't even think of a name. Like, oh, I, think, I think what happened was that when we were doing this meme list, he said that I'm going to take Chicago, but the last name's unknown. And then everyone just immediately said, just you're Chicago unknown now, bud. And he's like, oh, all right, I like it. Oh, they're taking Kenny Wu. That's not a bad pick. That is not a bad pick. Kenny's a pretty solid player. He's a 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. get up and play in the morning and not around at night I guess he's got a night job usually so his avail was a little iffy in previous seasons but I played with him a few NHLs back and he's definitely a solid player and I'd want him on my team he's one of those pain in the butt guys to play against back yeah. to Ninovich Coast man Coast, Coast just wants a second line this season that's all Coast wants yeah, we still got to build the first line. Yeah. Oh, Dope Swag. Dope Swag. Wow. Dope that's swag. A, that's a solid pick, man. The guy is the top duck score. I don't know, man. I think Dope Swag's a bit of a reach, dude. I, I yeah. just don't... Yeah, I don't see it. Like, I... I don't know. I don't know him that well either. I know, I've seen his name at the top of the, the leaderboard. So there's got to be some reason for that. You don't just get there by, you know, getting carried. Um, and the J has been more competitive, so hey, it uh, could work again for him, especially being a, in a team like Nunavut Coast and Tourists. Uh, well, there's the, fir that, there's the first line right there. You know, you got Coast Tourists and Dope Swag. Yeah, let's do. Well, who'd they pick first? 
forget. Oh yeah, Alpha. So there's yeah. Alpha. Maybe one of those guys is gonna play with Turf. Depends where Turf plays. Turf is a lead. He'll play anywhere. I mean, he likes forward. I, don't know. But... I, I feel like Coast, like his draft picks are a little inflated on value, but we'll see. Maybe they'll finish wrong or finish first and prove me wrong. You know. He's going for guys that are off the hop though that aren't uh, going to get snagged by three. I know there's some names still in there that, uh, you know, oh, like I'm, he's going to go. I, I would have uh, hopped all over. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> all right, we got Henderson Silver Knights for two. There Who are they going to grab? That put to see the name of the ship. Just gotta go grab a beer there, bud. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah I got it. Smooth. Anderson, so Anderson takes XG Green and Hoopla. Oh, XG Green, man, that's a dangerous pick. He's burned a lot of bridges in this league. Good player, though. He could definitely play the game, but oh man, does he piss people off. Uh, Hoopla, I don't know anything about. And since Ram is grabbing a beer, we're just gonna leave it at that. No, I'm still listening. Yeah, I know Hoopla very well. He was an old school threes player. Started off playing just threes. Now he's a pretty sick six player. Um, he's been around. He's got a brother that's uh, in this draft as well. Bar down, Brad. The two of them are pretty dynamic together. We'll see what oh, okay. he This is a very competitive year, and he is definitely a guy that can, you know, go up against better guys and put up numbers. So. That's it's not a bad pick at all. X, XG Green, on the other hand, I, I'm not for or against. So, I mean, maybe, uh, again, it's a buddy thing, right? If, you know, you're going to draft guys that are going to be available if you need, and you're not going to get costed for fifth and, you know, people are you going. That's sometimes a better way to go, as known. You know, you're going to have a lineup every night, and it, at the end of the day, it is just a game of uh, who's got better skill. So, Anything can happen in those games. Come on, Coast, you're on the clock, buddy. You're going to get skipped. Houdini. Hoo hoo. Goes with Houdini. You know what? I didn't think Houdini was going to last this long, to be honest. Like, I mean, I thought some of the other guys that were drafted before Houdini are definitely not as good as him, but. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's a solid player, man. And, and yeah, for him to fall to the third round of the I3J is kind of questionable, but mm -hmm. again, so many names in here that it's That's kind what of. I'm saying. It's kind of hard to separate anybody from anyone else in this first couple rounds because uh, that's how deep the J has gotten in. Because I remember my first season here it wasn't that deep and it was uh, more of a learning experience to see, you know, what you got to go up against, uh, especially come playoffs with the line matching and stuff. So. Well, we got Digo again. Digo back on the clock. Chicago unknown with the 27th pick. I'm sure uh, this is these next few rounds here, round three, four, five, is where you start getting guys snagged from you that you'd hope. Uh, well, I or... I always find that some of the best picks are in like the like you know four to six rounds because oh, yeah, the sneakers. Yeah. yeah, they're guys that kind of have value, but you don't realize how good they are. Yeah, well, there's always been sleepers. I think didn't Dopesway get drafted uh, late once? This season, he uh, came out of nowhere. Uh, no, he was like second round or first round. Oh, the ego goes with uh, McLean, 65. He is a buddy of uh, Kenny Wu. Good buddy, friends in real life. Another guy I played a few times with, I think, with uh, Kenny Wu and them. Or played against them, I should say. But, uh, yeah, the ego going the route of buddy buddy. Again, that's not a bad thing. When it comes down to availability and and getting guys uh, to show up the game. Oh, we got Ontario again. Come on, Chad. Joe oh. K. Ben. 
goes with Joe K. This guy's a sleeper, believe it or not. He, you guys could have waited maybe a little longer. No one really knows about this guy, but he is a dedicated, uh, dedicated child player. He will show up to all his games and uh, give it his best. So that's uh, that's a solid pick there. You're not, not going to worry about getting ego there or losing him die three. No. Minnesota knots right on the ball, taking Flurry eight. Ooh, this guy's. I don't, uh, I don't know who that is. He's an LG. A or NHL, or I think uh, I've seen his name around locks. He knows a lot of people. I think it's a name change as well, but uh, could be a, a huge pick for them if he stays down here. All right, we got Toronto again, waiting on Peacock. He's typing. Peacock knows what's up. I knew they were going to take Cheese 2 Johnny at some point. I knew it was coming. I almost Easy. wanted I almost wanted to steal him from Toronto just to, you know, kind of screw with Toronto, but... He's a good uh, all-around player too, man. Plays all positions. I know he's helped them in nets and uh, as a skater in uh, in past uh, seasons, so... Yeah, he's a, good, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Nice guy, and again, another guy they know is not going to ego and show up to games and help them uh, win games, so... Yeah. The task the task seen by these owners is uh is so far so good. Oh we got Mac taking uh Teske. Cape Breton Eagles going with glitchy Teske. Uh, uh I, I think that's a reach, man. I had glitchy. Yeah. Ah. He's pretty nasty at uh, Chow man. I I gotta give it to him. I've played with and against him many times. One of those little small builds. And he plays on West, so I can only imagine what he'd be like on QC Ping. But yeah, he's another guy that uh, can roll around. Sarnia jumping in and taking another guy. New owner taking guys, just dump it. Never heard of. Um, Never heard of him. Thing. Could be uh, another tactic they're using. Um, you know, new owner, recruit some of your buddies that nobody knows. Why not? All right, we got Dirty Michelle on the clock. Dirty Michelle, let's go. Jimbo Spikes. I, I don't know that person. Jimbo Spikes, I'm trying to think. Uh, that's a Goldie or the player? I don't know. Don't know. I guess we'll find out this I season. I think it's the Goldie. I forget the freak. So many GT changes. Try to keep up with everyone. I know. Oh, Smooth takes Dawes. He's a goalie. Yep, there's a goalie right there for Smooth and uh, the Lizard. I know. Uh, I know they wanted Varley. So. so they were definitely Who? looking to replace that. Who would want Varley? Won three cups in a row. He's uh, Patrick Ramoon. Patrick Maroon of uh, the I3J. Nikki at the Texas Wranglers take I Hudster. Yeah, another guy uh, <clears throat> that's a new owner, but been around the child community for a long time, and he's picking a guy that I, I've never heard of or ever even seen the name, which isn't a bad thing. Again, it's just could be a new tactic that oh. you guys are doing. Yeah. And we're waiting on Rodent, who's probably toasting some bread at Subway to make his uh, two picks. The meatball. I thought Rhoda said that Razor was going to be drafting. Yeah, where's Razor at? I don't know. Maybe he's also working at Subway right now. <laughs> he's his manager. Yeah. Oh, could we be looking at a skip for Tennessee to lose two picks? I think they're going to give him a bit of a... Hey, man, team. we... Yeah, we can't, can't wait all night here. I think if this clock strikes 8-11, he might get busted, but... Um, hey, Razor this is God, where you... Razor Gods is jumping in. Razor Gods is typing. This is where you save your six days, man, for the uh, infamous I3J drafts. Oh, Rodan's trying was, to buy time. Was making this up, yeah. 
Jeez. Yeah, he was, of course you were making a sub. We know you're at work. Who are you subbing? <clears throat> well, at least Chow's getting a kick out of it too, and keeping the keeping the chat uh, on their toes. Rodents yeah. here typing. Well, Finish Rodent the sub. Made, yeah. Hopefully that no. customer doesn't come back. Daw, Dawes is gone, but he picks Khan. He takes Khan. With his Khan's first a goalie, pick. right? Isn't Khan a goalie? No, he. Oh, he's a forward in LG. He's the uh, owner with. Uh, he owns with uh, Dylan is cool and, and Lafreniere. Yeah. But I was on that. That team. is the most inaccurate gamer tag I've ever heard of. Dylan is cool. Yeah. <laughs> So he takes Trevek with uh, his second pick of the yeah. In the round four we go. So Tennessee and, takes Khan yeah. and Trevek. We got Texas right now with Nikki Titan. Kick it off round four as we scroll down here into uh, the middle round. We got 12 rounds, so we're almost at the halfway point, and we've only been going for 35 minutes. Good. Yeah, I was hoping this doesn't take three hours. I think we're on pace to finish just before ten. I know some of the later rounds uh, drag out a bit, but uh... hey, come on, <laughs> Texas, you're gonna lose your pick. There we go. Big save, oh five. I, I'm gonna assume that's a goalie. Can you imagine? Who we got after Texas? So oh, it's smooth is up again after uh, Nikki. Oh, oh, not there. Got a problem. Texas is trying to pick someone who's not on the list. Oh, okay, King Natsu. He's on. I know he's on the list. I saw. Wow, him King Natsu round four. That's just crazy. That's he, a reach. That's a reach and a half. Yeah, but the problem is, is he's been in I3 and played in I3 every single season, even if he's drafted in the J. He had to tell the I3 guys that he wanted to stay in the J. He would like to anyway. So he's he's been the LG NHL his whole career. He's been in I3 most of his career. And he's helped in I3 J uh, his team. So that's a sick pick for round four. He's a solid defenseman in threes. I played on his team in another league and... Uh, to see him go round four is big wow. Ooh, Veradero took TU or to it or whoever he is. I had him last season, dude. That kid's toxic. Is that, is that Trav? That's Trav. That's he he, he Trav, yeah. will poison your Discord. Literally, oh, yeah. literally rat poison in a glass of water. Oh, yeah. GG. Yeah. See, but that's hey. the thing. You know what? With Florida, I feel like they draft good players, but every season, like they always have those like dramatical issues. You know? Yeah. All right, moving on. Dirty Michelle, let's go, buddy. You're on the clock. Dirty Michelle's taking I Moro. It's a good buddy of uh, Newf and his, so it's a solid pick for them. Yeah, yeah, he's a good player. Very has been around so long that he can get. No one's gonna ego with him. He's picking guys he knows straight up and that are, uh, you know, that are gonna help him. Mm -hmm. So that's a good pick for fucking falling down to round four. That guy is. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of these names are in LG and stuff where they try and, you know, put most of their focus on, but you only can play LG uh, three games a week. So there's, what, 15 a week here in I3. So yeah, lots, lots of room to squeeze around and fill in uh, when needed. Sarnia taking the Bobby Orr 4. I really hope that's a defenseman. <laughs> I, I don't know why I just seen this name too the other day. I don't know. Maybe we played against them. Or... The Bobby Orr Four. That's a pretty sweet name. I mean, not really. It's just the guy's name and his number. <laughs> All right, Cape Breton, Mac. You know he's going to draft Teal again. He's going for the triple Teal. Yeah. Red, white, and Teal. 
You gotta get some boys to play with Teal or he's gonna get eagled. <sighs> he's gonna pick Chowder. Chowder! Dude, he's he's dude, I don't know who that is. He's uh, a PSN guy, actually. I had him on the Chiefs um, in the late draft with Kessel. Nice guy, super, super played, nice guy, and uh, he's an LG PSNer. It's come oh, over. And he's, uh, he's good. He, he helped us uh, when he played on our team, and nice guy. Showed up to his games, and so good pick for Mac. Good, good. good we got Toronto next. Well, good Toronto's, good. Taking their, Toronto's taking their time. We got to give a, another shout out to Selly, man. I'm watching this stream, and it's That's sick. Beautiful. The eagle wings. In the oh back. yeah, dude. Like I don't think I can swear on this stream, but it's effing sick, man. He's killing it, dude. It's so good. You got the Cape Breton eagles flapping their wings in the background behind the board, like. Kind of yeah, like and like every, every team, he's got another graphic for another team. Like, man, it's really good work. So the Toronto Goat are searching right now for players that were on their winning cup team to pick, and they couldn't and find they, anyone, so they went ooh, with they, Dictator. Dictator? That's dangerous because Dictator doesn't want to be in the J. He made it He made it known the other day. I think he was drunk. I've played with him before. He drinks a lot. He's a funny drinker. Just... I think it was a joke. It had to be a joke because he's not playing in I3 probably unless all of I3 disappears. And he knows that. All right. All right. I think all right. I think he's a drinking joker. I don't know why he said that, but I don't know him that well, but I don't know why he would say that either. So that he only wants to play in I3 because I know it's Minnesota, only... Minnesota taking Luke's A. I don't know that guy. Lucas Day, yeah, he's pretty nasty. Ooh. Guess who's working for Wolves now? Oh no. R -I -P. Oh, you work for me now, Ram. That's right. No. Ontario no. takes Ram. No, no, that's another Ram. Oh, that's there's only Ram. one Ram. No, I'm Ram X83. <laughs> I work for nobody. Oh, you do. Yeah, you, you work for me. I'm sure ah. glad. Get ready to play with Sublime Killer. <laughs> Who's that? Exactly. Oh God. Oh, I love Chad. Right Chad's, Chad's, doing a, Chad's doing a great job. Thanks for the draft, boys. Yeah, you, we definitely screwed up that round, though. We draft. We could have waited like a couple of rounds for that, but oh well. Hey hey. <laughs> All right, come on, Digo. Chicago is on the clock. Chicago with the 46th pick. Three picks left here in round four, and um, we'll be moving into round five pretty fast. Five rounds in, uh, in just under 35 minutes, not bad, 40 minutes. We got uh, Chicago's push. They're on two minutes now, you know. They got a, you know, two minutes. You're getting into skip skipping territory there. I hate to be that guy and do that to somebody. You know, Digo's on the clock. He, he's probably just rifling through the draft list, seeing that I'm not there anymore, so he can't take me. <laughs> oh, they're going with Extrisive. There you go, there's a solid G there to add to your team. Oh uh, yeah, he's solid. I, I, I don't think he's going to carry you, but he's definitely a, a capable goaltender. I had him last season in Ontario. Yeah. I had, I had everybody last season. You've had everybody every season, bud. Uh, You're no. the longest running team Franchise. in the Oh, none of it takes tank. You know, he, he had, uh, none of it had tank in the net last season. Tank is a tank. He can skate too, play defense. He's uh, 
I've seen him play forward, defense, and G, and he's done well in all positions. So, and their best friends over there, Terrace and the and the bunch. So, why not take a guy that you you know well and would be excited to show up to games if you're playing with guys you know. All right, Henderson just took Rogue Piney and Dainty Dangles. Uh, Gav Nasty worked for uh, Piney last season when they ran Niagara, so that's not a surprising pick at all. You work for me, and I work for you. Eh? Mm -hmm. Said you work for me, and I work for you. Where do I work for you? LG, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, LG. Yeah, you dragged me into, like, a 10 o'clock game. Ridiculous. That was fun, actually. I I wouldn't have rathered any other TC, but I was very happy to do it. That was a fun game. Uh, Coast taking Splash X34. That's another guy with the skull and crossbones on him, man. He he causes some problems. He's an ego situation. For sure. This is old DC. I, can't, I know he's got it old. It was, it was Splash Vortex or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I dealt with him back in I3. Like, I guess I should... Uh, should I look at the list now that I'm on your team and send you some DMs? Some secrets or... Doesn't mean you have to grab him. I don't know. Is is that uh, legal? Yeah, we're on the same team now. Well, there's a couple little sneakers in there. Ooh, Digo taking Dignitol. I had Dignitol last season. He's legit. All right, we got crap bag up again, Ontario. Rain. <laughs> but uh, well, Chad makes his pick. Digo Dig Dignital is a good pick. Very capable player. Very capable player. He did have some availability issues last season, but uh, when he played, man, he was he was good. Me and that Joe Kaline then, or what? Mm -hmm. so I'm just razzing you. Said, where am I, where do you want me to play? This your boss? With I told you with Enzo. Enzo. Yeah. No, you said some other name. Subline Killer. That's Enzo. Is it? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Bag. You might have to step in here, bud. Yeah, I'm do. on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, Chad's typing. Ooh. Chad taking Kucherov L86. You know, that is a strategic pick right there because uh, Ala, who's kind of temperamental, he pretty much won't play without Kucherov. So that could be a bait uh, a bait pick right there, you know? Who took uh, Ala again? Uh, he went first, first overall, so it was uh, Henderson, wasn't it? Yeah. The Silver Knight. Yeah. All right, Minnesota. Come on, Knots. Juicy Hodge, a well-known goalie from I3. He is hilarious. Another funny guy to have to be in the party with. Yeah, yeah, great or for even just, just Watch on Discord. He's just a funny guy. Toronto go for the uh, 
fifth, fifth round, sixth round, fifth round, uh, picking up Donnie B. They had him last season. He made he almost almost blew the playoffs for them. I remember that. So I I messaged him about it. But they won, so who cares? Good pick for Toronto. <laughs> He's OG. He's the founding father, isn't he? Yeah. And he Mac. just came back a couple seasons ago, so. Yeah. And there's another guy that was on the cup team. Toronto's on to something. Yeah, yeah, they, they can put together a good team. You know, I admitted to scoring, man. Like, last season when they won, I was like, Scory, man. Yeah, we thought you were going to get your ass kicked. Good job, man. Like, I told him. I wasn't ashamed. He made the, the right trades at the right time. I think he's one team and organization that that uh, are always out to make trades and shake up stuff if it's not going right until they feel it's right. And they did it in all the seasons I've been around. And obviously, the other seasons it didn't work out, but hey, it worked this season. I don't know. All right, right, falling a bit behind, Mac took Binky 77. Uh, Sarnia for the fifth round took uh, IR, IREX L. I don't know either of those guys. I don't know Binky for Mac or IREX for Sarnia. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, we have so many guys as we do get deeper in the draft, we're going to know less and less of these guys. You know what I mean? Of course. That and the fact that it's new owners taking guys. Uh, yeah, well, like new owners might have brought new guys into the league, right? Like, sound like okay. everybody's going to bring their own people. Dirty Michelle just tried to draft King Natsu, but he's long gone. Shows uh, shows how aware Dirty Michelle is. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, to be honest, Sarnia has picked all guys I've never recognized any of their names. But that's not a bad thing. We'll see. No. see you know, it could be, though. Hey, your first time coming in here, you know, it could be a bad thing or it could be uh, a really good thing. Because that's where the surprises come, like Toronto did. Toronto was a surprise. They had some good pieces, but they still surprised. They stood up. Yeah, they did. Talked their way through every round of the playoffs. They had the depth, the three lines that could... And again, matching your tools. So that's a good, a good route to go, in my opinion, as an owner. Dirty Michelle is trying to select someone named Fila Fiala. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty decent. Is he on the list though? It seems to be. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I guess. Oh, okay, I guess it was okay. Smooth is taking Sandy for the Veradero Lizards. Next, Texas. Nikki P, you're on the clock, buddy. I played with Nikki about a week or two ago. He seemed like a pretty good dude. He seemed chill. He seemed like a yeah. good personality, good owner to have. Well, well, we'll we'll see if he's a good owner, but he seemed like a nice guy. Yeah, he's uh, he's well known to be a nice place guy, so we'll uh, we'll welcome him in, him in his first year as only in the J. Best of luck to all the new owners, really. And he's Love taking it, Voltage Tactic. I don't know that name. He, I know that name, and that's uh, he just got an, another Frenchie to go with Bardsy. Maybe he's a uh, pretty nasty little three player. He's originally a six guy, but uh, he uh, he's played in the J before. When I first the first season, I think uh, I branched over, mm. and then he took a huge break, but. He could be a huge pick for them. All right. Tennessee for two. They just took Wheels, well-known goalie, and Astrid. Um, I know Wheels is a sought-after goalie for sure. I don't know a whole lot about Astrid X2, though. Do you? Uh, no. Wheels I've heard of. Isn't he in I3 last season? He was, yeah. He was the AGM for Niagara. 
fresh Italian BMT. Okay, he's uh. Texas following up with Zap X96 for their round six pick. I don't know, man. Like, you know, Texas is drafting all these guys I've never heard of. They must have brought a lot of their own guys in. Smooth uh, Orbit for the Lizards taking Kroby. Good value. Good, good round six for sure. Can't be mad about that. And Dirty Michelle's up next. You can land on the clock here. Let's see, he's typing. Ooh, taking Yeet, I got another well known player. Uh, you know. Newfoundland's put together a pretty interesting draft list so far. You know, I feel like Newf is kind of steering this because a lot of these are X I three guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Newf and uh, Dirty are in the yeah. same party yeah. right now, I'm sure, and uh, they both have the same brain type of. Absolutely, yeah. So that's a good pick. All right, next oh, we got uh, we got Sarnia, the Steel Wings. You know, they actually have a sick background in the stream. I love when Sarnia picks because I have the stream on beside my computer here and I'm just like, oh, yeah. sick. Like, I'm not sure if Selly did all of this by himself, but really good job. Uh, Sarnia taking Yuto 4853. That sounds like a Russian subcompact car. I don't know that guy at all. Same. <laughs> what? what did you say it sounded like? A Russian compact car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Cape Breton Eagles Mac taking Zylo MS. I believe that used to be I'm Munchie. And if I'm right, that's an it ego is. situation and a half coming. Yeah, it's on the stream. It's showing a slash I'm Munchie. Yeah, yeah, that's an ego. Yeah, Mac is putting together an interesting draft. Let's just say that. All right, Toronto, hey. come on, Peacock. Let's see who you're bringing back from last season. Beefy's not here, Pasta. Ooh. Ooh. Are, are you a fan of Pasta, Ram? Pasta, I love Pasta. I eat it like that twice, twice a week. I, ah, pasta. I hate Pasta. I hate when my wife makes it. I just, ugh. Oh, well, well, I'm part Italian, so I got to rep that. So no. If I made a pasta for you, bud, you'd eat it all. <laughs> we got Minnesota taking V Higgs. Uh, he's an okay player, but he's got some. Uh, he's got. Oh my god! Uh, and Ontario Rain takes Jake Rotella. Great. In the sixth round, Chad. Come on. Why? What's wrong with Jake? I just don't think the value is there for a, a sixth pick. We're getting nowhere at the halfway mark, I guess. He's a goalie. Tortello, yeah. Yeah, he signed up for the goalie. Yeah, he uh, he was a T. You know what? So last season on Ontario, Jay Cortella was a TC all season. He, he didn't really say much. He wasn't like. A, wasn't like a dickhead or anything. He was just kind of a quiet TC. And I mean, we, we pretty much ignored him. I'll say it how it is. And uh, so out of nowhere, he just comes out and he's like, hey guys, I play goalie. And uh, he was a big part of our like 20 game win streak at the end of the season last season because I wasn't around to play very much. And uh, we were struggling for goalies. And Jake Hotel was like, yeah, I play goalie. And we're like, yeah, whatever. Try it out. We're already losing. And he, He's a really good goaltender. Yeah. Well, then that, that's uh, <clears throat> that's the reason behind that. Then just need that uh, goaltending in this. And sixth round, how many goalies uh, have we seen gone too? Right. So. 
So we got Ninevit flicking, flicking uh, Tendi. Diego uh, in Chicago took carries. We're down to uh, the seventh round. Starting the seventh round here. Oh, we're just we're just cruising through this. This is great. All right, Henderson Silver Knights for two. Henderson, uh, you know, I, I got to wonder if Henderson likes where they are in the draft because last season we had the 12th pick. So, you know, you're you're back to back every round, right? And it's kind of a, I don't know. It, it's it's good, like but it's it. not, it's good, it's not good, you know? Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, there goes Kucherov. That's why they drafted Subline. All right, well that that trade's already done. What's that? Yeah. I'm not I'm not on the screen right now. Now oh, Gav Nasty just took Machizi and Subline Killer. <sighs> so what does that mean? It means I'm gonna have to trade him Kucherov for for Enzo. I, I I knew like yeah, Gav Nasty's already messaging me. You know, he's just saying, "Hey, hit me up when you want to work that trade out." Like, uh, you can't swear, can't swear. I'll swear later on the howl for our post draft show that we're recording after this. There'll be lots of swearing there. Save it for them. I just saw your DM there. All over the place. Cheat, cheat. Oh, so, okay, yeah. Here we go into round seven, five round. Round seven, one. kicking it off. Yeah, none, of it, none of it takes Rhino 9 11. See, now that's a sick gamer tag. You know? Yeah, keeping the animal name. I played against them. Yeah. Uh, they're all together in that other banana and on LG as well. So they're. Uh, I knew those guys. I knew Coast was grabbing those guys. Had good picks for them, for sure. Ontario Rain, Rain! Come on, Chad. Oh, you missed Chicago. Yeah, yeah. They took Joshua twenty twenty. It's, it's a great pick. Everybody <laughs> loves the guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. They're funny. I, I, I actually don't know. All right, Kazi. Kazi the third. Kazi's uh, Kazi. Honestly, Kazi is a he's a, he's a big sleeper man. Kazi is a really good player, and no one drafts him. I'm happy we got him. Uh, moving on, Minnesota takes Boosh X10. Right on do top. You know, of it. Do you know that guy, Ram? No, I don't. Heard of, but. Uh... Too many GT changes, man. I keep telling you that. I People know. Like changing their damn gamer things. I changed mine once. I'm like, what am I doing? I'm not like that. It's hard to keep up, right? But yeah, I don't know him personally. I heard of the name. I think it's an original GT still. So. Toronto banging it out. Their, their next pick going with Eugene. Or how do you say it, Will? Uh Toronto picked Eugene. That's a pretty uh, questionable pick, especially this early on. And now Chad is questioning why you picked Max. Mac says, I Chowder. love you. Didn't didn't Halifax have Chowder last season? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chowder wanted to come play with Ontario. I know. I know. Weird. No, it's Tyler's veil. He want he respectfully isn't insulted. So he says, "Pick me like 10, 11, 12. Obviously, if you signed up full of veil, he'd be going earlier. But the guy's got a life, and he puts half of it into this and half of it into his veil. Good pick, though, man. He cares enough. Sarnia is going. Uh oh. On the clock, Sarnia. I am Ferez. I got nothing. I got nothing. You know what? Let's just make it up. I'm Ferez, man. That guy is a really good LG guy. 
you know, he plays that position really good. Just a really good guy. Gas. Just gas him up. Yeah, yeah. We got Newfoundland with Dirty Michelle. You know, this is probably going to be another ex I three guy, ex Widow QC. I knew Mich- I knew Michelle was going to draft a QC guy because if you've heard Michelle talk, he is as French as they come. Love that French accent. Yeah, that's a really good pick. I played with that guy the other night, I think, and that hand against him a couple times. He's a chill party at the party too. Good pick for them. This late too, smart. The bat up on the clock, and he takes Gomer. Gomer. Oh, Gomer. Good name. Good pick. Do you know anything about him? I do not. Why not? Been around so long. I know, uh, you know, Ram. I know, but I don't know everyone. You know, I do my best. Sure. Yeah, I. Th- you know what? I think a lot of it is honestly. I think there's been a lot of gamer tag changes, man. Yeah, well, that for one, and then just new people coming in or second tag, maybe. <laughs> <Tennessee fan. laughs> Canada just gave it to the Tennessee sandwich artist on the clock, and you'll see a sub being made in the background right now. Uh, Texas picked O Diffuse. I don't know that guy. I, I, I honestly don't know anyone Texas drafted at all. Like, to I, be honest, I, I'm in the same boat. So I, that's, uh, like, well, I know Jason Bardsey actually, and Broxy, <clears throat> Broxy or whatever, were their first two picks. But that's uh, like I uh, swear, te- Texas is just making them up as uh, they go, you know. Uh, let's see. Tennessee is up for two. Nathan's probably scrubbing out some oven right now or something. Whatever they got to do with Subway, whatever the the crappy work is there. Maybe he's mixing a big five gallon pail of mayonnaise. Who knows? Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on here though. Like Ravers, a good. Uh... GM owner and so is Roden. If Roden told you, why isn't that? I'm just getting some messages on Discord. Apparently, we have people watching this that aren't even in this league. We got some outside uh, viewers. Really? One of our former owners, Pepperoni, back from season five, still keeping tabs on the league. And you know, he wants to come back. Oh, yeah, it's the time thing, though. I talked with him and uh, the boys there. And, yeah, uh, yeah, him and DeBob. Well, no, you yeah. know what? You know why they don't come back? Because they're scared. They just want to keep beating up on banana leagues. That's what it is. No, no, they're they're good players. They can roll with these guys. But yeah, they they, they, they want to be. They want to be. Oh, they, they got wanna... to me in the background. Let's go. Look at that, my Tennessee subway. That's a graphic to be screenshotted. Big shout out to that one. All right, Tennessee took uh, Scarps, Little Dink, Ron. There's a dumpster fire. Ugh. <laughs> Easy, bud. You're looking for enemies? Uh, nobody <laughs> likes nobody likes me, anyways. You know, it's okay. Yeah. Right on. Well, there, Texas took someone you know, Manatee. Manatee, yeah. Uh, Veradero took Rap H Thunder. Do you know that guy? I do I not know. know. I don't know yeah. him, no. I can't believe the name Tennessee Sandwich Artist. That's fucking hilarious. And then we got on the screen, the subway. Uh, too funny. Let's see, Dirty Michelle, Killer Beats. That's not a bad pick, you know, especially for uh, for the round it went in. Killer Beats can play. He's all right. Yeah. 
I would have to agree that's a good night or eight round pick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sarnia is up, and Verona just got warned by the Cuzbot. Oh. Oh. TRMC Big Mac. I. I hmm. Man, I'm struggling, dude. As these rounds get deeper, I don't know some of these guys, you know? Bad in the fact that uh, we've had so many sign ups, so it's not a bad thing. Kind of. No. Uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> Because I'll tell you now, if any of these guys you haven't heard of do anything this year, you'll know about it for sure, and you'll remember yeah. them. Yeah. So it just gives them all the more incentive to uh, get out there and grind. Mac taking Hirsch Squirt. He was on Ontario last season. He uh, had a lot of availability issues. Not a not bad player, just not really around when you need him to be there. You know. Yeah. I think if he had better availability, he probably would. He'd probably go a little higher than uh, the round we're in now, but it is what it is, man. You know. Hey, and that could have been last season. Maybe this season he's got better avail. And we don't know something. Didn't he own there one season? He owned a long time ago. I think season yeah. three, he owned the Belleville Bulls. Oh, yeah. Belleville, yeah. Toronto taking Unhappy Circle. I had Unhappy Circle on my TC last season. Didn't play him once, hmm. but he, he seemed like a good guy. So good That's for Toronto. Cool. Yeah, maybe they did some scouting there. Yeah. You tell Buddy to uh, check his Discord. Chad? Yeah. Chad, if you're listening, check your PM. I haven't really looked at the list in a while. Have you? No, no, I'm, I'm, I have the uh, stream on beside me, and I've got the like the draft channel on my laptop in front of me. Like okay. Chad's, Chad's handle in our draft. Like he's texting me on and off here, and we're, you know, we're. Uh, yeah, well, just... tell him uh, to check his PM because there's somebody left uh, sitting in there that needs to get picked next, or. Yeah, I, I told him but... I texted him. I'm almost guaranteed that I played with and against. Uh, Minnesota Knots taking Drysdale 4. Don't know that guy. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know what? Knots, Knots is good at drafting. He, he goes in kind of a sleeper as an owner, but I mean, he owned two seasons ago and he was first, man. Like, Minnesota did finish top of the league two seasons ago, so... I think if Knotts is taking him, maybe Knotts knows something that uh, nobody else knows, you know? Yeah. All right. Uh, Ontario I think that's Wayne. a PSN guy, to be honest. Yeah. I was playing it with him the be. other day. All right, we got Ontario on the clock, and uh, I'll give Chad a minute here, but uh, I'll, I'll jump in. Oh, Chad. Crap bag typing away. You know, I just named Chad Crap Bag one day because I was mad at him and it, it stuck, you know. <laughs> oh no. What? 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 Okay. I don't know. I guess Chad's just making it up as he goes along now, too. I don't know who that is. No, I, oh, I do. That guy, that's the guy I was talking about. Dax, man. He's a, he got drafted, uh, LG NHLer. He got drafted this year. He's an elite forward. Oh. Okay, I'll write, I'll write Chad. Good job, Chad, then. guy who just messaged me was decent, but I promise you this guy, he doesn't get called up. All right, moving on. Chicago Unknown. Digo taking DJ Boss 8 5. I have not heard of uh, DJ. Me neither. But again, like, I just looked at the draft list. That's why I was kind of out of it here for a second. Uh, there's a ton of names, man, still on there, and just names I've never heard of, uh, even that have been drafted, so. I know. 
there's three hundred names, man. I don't know, like, I, I can't say I know everybody or whatnot. So, good though. We got Coast up. Coast is on the clock for Nunavut. It's been an interesting draft so far. He's taken some big names. Took Dope Swag. Took, uh... damn it, I don't remember who he took first round. He's got Tank too. Yeah, yeah, he brought Tank back. Uh, he's got to kind of get his uh, get his stuff going here, though. Oh, there we go. He's typing. Uh, Connor K eighty one. Hmm. Connor K. Yeah, he's a sixes player, and he can play some threes. Uh, we got Henderson, Goose, and Gav Nasty for two to. Uh, Bust out the beginning of the ninth round. We are just cruising through this. This has got to be the fastest draft ever. Do we have 12 rounds, Ram? Is it 12? Yeah, we're uh, down to the last three rounds now. Moving into round nine. Oh, so we're still Gav, looking at the Gav, Wild. Gav is taking Astro Lino and Rich. Astro is a good backup goalie. Fringe starter on a good day, maybe. He's not what he used to be, but he's solid. Uh, Rich, Rich is also a goalie. I don't know if he signed up as goalie though, but uh, he can play some goalie. Quicken up the pace here, boys. So come on, let's get on it. I know uh, we're getting to the late rounds, but uh, this can't take all night. Get on it. All right, Coast taking bar down 20. Chicago is on the clock for the third pick of the ninth round. And that will be our 99th pick overall. Ninth round? Yep. Yeah. Bar down to none of it. That's a good pick. Mm -hmm. He's all that far. He's a sixes player more too, but. Um... Yeah. Yeah. I like him. I think we were trying to get him in another league in LG there. And I like him. He's from Ottawa too, actually. It's a small world. Uh, oh, Digo. Canada. Digo's getting the, uh, the old kick in the ass there. Let's go, buddy. You're going to get skipped in the ninth round. And Chowder urging people like Come on, boys, we gotta get this together. We really want to get on with it. Chicago unknown. <laughs> you see the Text, I just, in the back right I, now? I just, I just texted Chad. I'm like, Chad, take Smitty. <laughs> Damn it, Digo. Yo, I just saw a lizard in the background of the stream having a drink, drinking a cocktail. As uh, all the things go through here. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, chat, Ontario took Ghost X15. Minnesota, Mr. Nuvo and Toronto took Showtime Sniper. Wow. Wow, Showtime went late. I thought he was gone. Hmm. He just kind of snuck under the radar on that one. Next up is Cape Bread Neagles. Mac Attack. Let's see who's gonna, he's going to pick up here in the ninth round. Ninth round, a little bit slower. Back taking X of Rana. Uh, 
we gotta we gotta remind people come on owners look at the list ahead of time we know we're getting down to some tough rounds where not everyone knows everyone but yeah uh, they're still picking for the team it's tough but yeah, only... it's, yeah it's tough I, I know how it is like you know you get to round 10 11 you're kind of just starting to pick the old names out of the hat there but i think we're only like 20 minutes out here maybe yeah we got two and a half rounds left Sarnia That's taking not... Irena. Yeah, we'll probably be done. This should be wrapped up by about 9.30, I'd say so. I just got uh, tagged. Fix my name, Ram. I don't know what you want there, Tank. What do you want me to fix your name? Do you want to go back to Lloyd? <laughs> From Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> Dirty Michelle, Newfoundland, taking Big Mike 19 for the ninth round pick. And our 105th overall. Verado Lizards. Orbit is typing now. Pick me, pick me. You, I already own you. Oh, damn. Oh, they took Nitro QC. Ooh. I like this kid. I don't know why he's got a lot of haters out there. <laughs> Are you he kidding doesn't. me, Ram? Oh, I like my God. Kid, I'm just going to leave it. Nice, uh, I'm not going uh, to take your I'm not gonna take your bait. Polite. He's polite. He's nice. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's filled in when he was on my team there in the first time I owned uh He'd always fill in. Same with last year. He was on uh, Labatt's team. Me and Labatt and always would step up if needed. Kind of frustrated that he didn't get uh, a team, but I don't know. I like I'm, not, I'm not, not taking your game, Ram. Well, trade me then. <laughs> Texas taking KV Kozlov, but it's spelled K-V-Z-L-O-V. Can't wait to put on the Kings jersey. I think that's uh, Crosby dies. He's a good uh, kid, too. Tennessee to debut our 10th round. Two picks. He's all about the depth right now. These picks, so Nitro's a huge depth guy, man. That's mm -hmm. personal opinion for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, they had him last year, so they picked him again. See, they're smart. Orbit knows. Hey, Pick guys that uh, show up and uh, will step up if needed. Okay, so Rode is trying to take Gomer, who's gone, but then he's taking... Also, Jim Benning, who... <sighs> Jim Benning. Uh... Jim Benning. Jim Benning. What a... Like, like, the kid can't draw. I don't care. I don't care what, what kind of conceptual art you're into. That kid cannot draw. Hilarious, though. Hilarious, hilarious person. But he can't draw worth a damn. I don't care what anyone says. That's all right. I can't either. I'll join the Jim Benning now. Not able to draw club. Let's go, Jib. Uh, but yes, Gomer is gone. They're trying to take Gomer. I believe Gomer went like a round or two ago. Hmm. Yeah, the lizard took them. Yeah, yeah, Gomer went a while ago. Oh my god, look at these Tennessee Raccoons logo. It's literally someone making a sandwich or their graphics. <clears throat> I love it. Let's Selly go. is, dude. Selly is. Selly, Selly's too good, man. Selly's too good. Look at this. Uh, I wish I could see him for they now. Hilarious. It's just too good. Like I don't even know where he comes up with this stuff, but damn. I wish you could record Twitch. That sucks. That's a <sighs> All right, uh, Rodent's trying to take XL Brown LX, and it looks like that's going to go through. So next we will have Texas again. Texas Wranglers. Yeah, for the 110th pick of the Season 6, I 3 jhl draft, and they take L0LI version L3L. Uh, Iverson. So Iverson, yeah. That is one name I do know for Texas. Yeah, likewise. No comment. Yep, pretty much. 
man. You know, this this, this Tennessee uh, graphic he's got going on, it does look like a good sandwich. Uh, yeah, I would go for a BMT right now. All right, Veradero Lizards, Orbit, quick on the draw to take Grizzly L33L. Oh, what? Grizzly, Grizzly, my boy Grizzly was in the draw? What are you doing, Ontario? Well, we don't, we don't, we, we don't know. We've had the same roster for five seasons, Ram. We're not very diverse. <laughs> no, uh, Grizzly's good buddies with Joe K and, uh, and me. So as if Joe K's on the team too, here we go. Let's go, boys. All right, Newfoundland, uh, Dirty Michelle again. Let's see if they can uh, snag something good in the 10th round here. Getting pretty deep. I like Newfoundland. I like Newfoundland. They took Joey Clutch 13. Uh, I played with him. Uh, he's definitely not going to be on the first line, I'll tell you that. But uh, he, he can play the game. Is he worth a trade for Ram? No, Ram, you're not getting traded. Okay, you're going to die in Ontario. Okay, just relax. <laughs> oh, let's go, Shadow. Let's go for a Sally. What the heck is he doing in the 10th round? This kid well, go you, for man. a Sally. Has had... Yeah, but now go for a Sally can play the game, but he's had a lot of. He's burned a lot of bridges, man. He's had some ego issues throughout the seasons. Yeah, but that's fine. I know, alive. but pe people remember that, though. You know what I mean? He's going to so... cook. On, well, he's going to cook on his new team now because Cerny is a new. Uh, to the league and, and they got all the players we don't know so maybe it's all go for a celly buddy you gonna cook oh, i just got my first trade offer for ram oh nice how many uh pg uh none it's an open oh. offer damn uh let's see mac taking buds x91 uh he is uh he's in some other leagues i know of him had a very controversial moment the other day that I will not bring up, but it was brought up in staff. And on to the Toronto GOAT. What? Why are you saying swear. I didn't swear. Oh yeah, that was in DMs. <laughs> Ew. Yo, uh, when's the next, uh, let's go viewers here to get on the the train for the howl there when's that next podcast going out uh we are recording the post draft howl it will be me mac uncle scory and nathan it is being recorded at 10 30 tonight and it will be posted tomorrow morning for awesome. the draft, draft analysis you know ram i, I texted you I, I messaged you i thought you were going to be a guest and you, you never sent me a message back <clears throat> no i thought we were talking about it. i saw we uh in our discord there we picked uh the other guys, I guess, like I'll let them go. I'd love to come too, but I don't want to crowd it, so we'll just. Uh... Oh, well, you know what? We'll get you. We'll get you. Uh, we'll get you next weekend there. All right, for sure. Oh, uh, Chad picking up stink wrinkles for the oh, Ontario Oh, what? Ring. Yeah, in the, in, he went to the tenth. He went to the tenth round. Oh, what the hell god. is everyone else doing? How did stink oh, wrinkles go to the tenth round? Oh my god. Oh my god. What, is everybody else like not looking at the list or something? How? How? how I mean, y yeah, I own Ontario, but I mean, like, what the, you know? That's insane. As if you went to the tent. If he hasn't jumped off, uh. You know what? He should oh, be an I3, man. man. This guy's played with uh, some I3 guys, and it's about, you know what it's about, but. <clears throat> like, the port and him are on the same level. And I think Stink's got like a tiny hand, one up on the port by three, so that's ins that's insane that Stink went to the tenth round. He's a good buddy, so I'm biased, but his avail probably whatever. What was his avail? He... You know what? Like I looked at the list briefly today with Chad. We went over things because he was going to be yeah. taking the draft and. Uh... I, I, you know, I saw Stink Wrinkles on the list, but I didn't really, I was like, well, you know, I, I wasn't even thinking about him, so I didn't check his, uh, his Insane. I his, can't believe he went to the 10th. I know. That's got to be, like, the steal of the draft. Yeah, like, he's a nasty goalie, man. In threes, like, don't put him in nets and sixes. He's just too many people skating around, but <clears throat> me, him, 2-1-5, and, uh, 
another guy we're playing for a few nights late and I think was just on top of it, man. He could be a nice three, I think, personally, but glad All that right, uh, Chicago here, afterwards Chicago took uh Outlaw. Let's see we got a bit behind here. We just started talking. Uh Nunavut oh, yeah. took uh Stuzel, eighteen. Henderson just took Staunt Staunt Trucker and I want my tots. And I want my tots was the first pick of the 11th round. Only got two rounds left. Holy. Now we're talking, we got probably ten, less than 10 minutes. Yeah, we're, we're cruising. So, Coast going with Stuckle again, another guy they know. They yeah. play with uh, and against. Yeah. So, Coast is building a team more dedication and showing up because remember, you got to get close, man. He was saying that, you know, he had the veil issues too for putting out his lines in the playoffs. So, I think this year, if, they, uh, if you play your card break. Man, everybody in the playoffs has availability issues. I don't really buy into that, you know? It's... Yeah, I, I see that too. I mean, everyone's going to have avail issues. It's just who's really on board and who's really not. Well, overall, this has been, uh, I mean, you know, the last the last rounds are kind of, you, you get into some guys you don't know, but I mean, this has been a pretty solid draft all around. Like, I, I don't really see any teams out there that are looking very weak. I mean, ex except Texas. I swear to God, Texas is just making them up as they go along. I don't know anyone on Texas, but... Well, no, they took uh, Bartsy and uh, Boxy with their first two picks, and the rest, it was Sarnia that keep picking guys you never heard of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Coast took Juice Williams. Chicago took the Programmer 150. That is badass. I mean, anyone who has a, anyone who has a Discord name of the Programmer, like, you know that guy means oh, business. <clears throat> Oh, he's on, uh, I think he's, he's on GT, sisters. Can't keep track of all these names. Uh, let's see, Ontario. Who's Ontario got for the 11th pick? Sleeper Chad. by the century, by stats. Who, who is Chad drafting? Oh my god, like, is it Bender? No. The Lyle. I don't know who that is. Knots, man, Knots is quick this draft right away. Pancake Pretzel for the 11th round goes to the Minnesota Saints for our 125th overall pick. Toronto is up next. I wonder who Toronto is going to take. Bender? Buffalo Jones. Ooh! Is Buffalo Jones still on the board? He's not a terrible goalie. He was a uh, scant unicorn, if I remember correctly. Oh, he's not on the list. I guess he didn't sign up. Ooh, yeah, there's been a few guys that didn't sign up that, this season that... Uh... We're kind of regulars, so it's kind of throwing some people off. It's happened a few times this draft. Like, I know Toronto's missed a beefy right now. Oh, apparently they're saying he might have changed his gamer tag to Real Meta 5. All right, next up we got the Cape Breton Eagles, the Mac Attack. Who's he taking for the 11th round? They're taking King Jun. I don't know who that is. King Hong Jun? <laughs> no, it's Hello? just it's just King Jun. Sarnia for the eleventh round. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're almost out of this. Sarnia is taking rotate nine.
Ram, are you available on Sunday? Um, yep. Okay, good. To play? Right. <laughs> no, to go on a date. Yeah, to play. Yeah, I think I'm playing Monday in the... It's, uh, for our LG. Uh, yeah. Hopefully. But... Dirty Michelle, round 11, taking Big Beast, 6258. Right, Baradero Lizards. Three more picks for this 11th round. I'm going to grab another beer. Yeah, you, you do That's that. That's what you do when you're old, you just drink beer. Yeah, I'm not quite there yet. One day. Five more years of this. When I grow some hair on my chest, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Smood. Fairdale Lizards, 11th round. Who do they got? I, Azarov, I. I got nothing, but if Smooth's drafted him, maybe Smooth knows something. Yep. We got Texas. Texas, well, very quick. Texas takes 12Z. Very quick, Razor God. Now we're picking it up. Razor God to start the twelfth round takes Nasty Coast ninety nine and Tresdo. All right, we only have eleven picks left. Yeah, eleven picks left. So who is up right now? It's Texas again. Let's go, Texas. You're on the clock. want to give one more shout out in this late round to Selly. Like, what a great show he's put on for us. Man, he does not get the credit he deserves. Texas taking I go blue for their last pick of the draft. Next we have Veradero. Orbit is already typing. Taking Ryder KS, that is uh, Date Mist's brother, actually. Date Mist plays in I3. I've played with Ryder for a long time. He's a interesting personality. Yeah. Know... Yeah, he was on the team last year, too, I think. He's a yeah. new player, man. Damn, going last round, Chad was saying. That's, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Who are we uh, taking with the last round pick? I don't know, man. It's in Chad's hands. Chad, Chad, Chad. Don't let it down. Uh, for Dirty Michelle's last pick, he took Young Nugs. Oh, he took Dino Nugs. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's see, Sarnia, last pick. Who's Sarnia going to take? Somebody that you don't know. I'm just trying to do my best here, Ram. Well, you could have just said I don't know them either. That's going to be a long season. With me and you? Oh, yeah. No, no, it's going to be short and sweet. All right, let's see, Sarnia, you're on the clock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Oh, damn it. I wanted Blues Van. Oh, I was just gonna, I just saw him too. Shit. Damn it. I like Blues Van. Uh, 
All right, Mac, jumping on it quick with how to roast toast. Interesting game. Hmm. Toronto for the last pick of their FI3J draft. See who they take. Oh, I got the pick we should take. If we need to uh... send it to Chad. Dino Nugs to uh, Newfoundland's a good one. Mm -hmm. I think Chad's still gonna. Uh, Peacock for Toronto Goat. <laughs> Yeah, I can't make a goat sound. That was pathetic. Don't listen to me. That's right. You were you you have a farm, Ram. What does a goat sound like? Do a goat sound. Do it. Uh, they're Do off it. to bed, so I can't get the goat sound out there. No, just make it yourself. Do it. Do it. You suck, Ram. Sorry, I'm just, want... I'm just talking to uh, just talking to my DM. What? The people want to hear a goat sound. Make a goat sound, Ram. I am uh, just talking to my GM. Chill out. I'm your I'm owner. Not... I don't give a shit about you talking to chat. I don't want to hear a goat sound. That's why I drafted you. Well, I'm sorry. I can't do it. <sighs> oh, come on. Tired. You want to me to blast the goat sound over the stream for you? No, no. That'd, that'd be pretty funny. That'd be pretty funny. Uh, Toronto has been on the clock now for about three minutes. Tor Toronto takes Bender. Somebody did it. They pulled the trigger on Doctor Snipes. Oh, GG's Dino and Doctor in the in the same round. The last round, good for them. Yeah. Mandatory play the play them head to head. head. All right, uh, Minnesota up after Toronto for their last pick. Uh, Lundqvist, but Knox isn't sure if he's on the list. Lundqvist played for, uh, no, yeah. I didn't think he was signed up. Coast was on that pretty quick, because Lundqvist played for, uh, Coast last season. So there's no way, uh, okay, who, Knott's who correct. Just, who just tried to take Jack, right? Uh, Knott's did, but, uh... He wouldn't go that rapid. No, no. 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 Uh, uh, but Knott's corrected it. He took a Ghost GGZ or Z's Ghost. I don't know how you say that. I him, yeah, I had him last season on TC. He's a good guy. Taken Ram. Savage. And depth at D. Never hurt. D are hard to come by. Signed oh, up as do, a D man. Do, do you know Savage? Of. I know of. And uh, I think he has a chance to prove himself here. Getting picked up late. Oh uh, yeah. I don't I don't know. Not Captain Savage. I came up short today. Feels like I fell down to the last three. Yep. Nothing but doubt. But my mind. Just sometimes. Uh, Digo taking Blackhawks eighty eight. None of it with the second last pick of the draft. Oh, Blackhawk 88, he's a D man too, I think. Yeah, I, I believe yep. so, yeah. I, still, I would have took Savage before Blackhawk, and that's mm -hmm. And we did, so. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And you're only in it for yourself, eh, Ram? No, oh, I'm the team G man. I just don't want to pop to play D all the time. Uh, it's good to have right. some depth on D. Nunavut picks Uzi and the last pick of the draft, Atraxa by Henderson. Dang. Yep. And that's it. That, that's it for the uh, Season 6 I3J draft. 144 picks, 12 rounds. Fastest ever. There you go. Yeah, yeah fastest say, ever. Felt long, but it went quick. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I just want to just uh, everyone, man, like hit up Sally Hard, man. Show him your love. He put on a great show. It looks great. He does right. really, really good stuff with the stream. And uh, the howl will be posted tomorrow with the post draft analysis. Right on. Good luck to all the owners, new and old, and all the players. Congrats to the guys who got drafted. Anyone that didn't get drafted, um, they'll be randomly assigned, which is not the end of the world because you will be needed. Oh, RA, RAs are a real thing, man. They're definitely needed. Yeah. Lots of people get that bump out yeah. of the roster position because of egos or availability or talent. So if you're our aid, you're watching this, and you haven't played in this league before, just get our aid. And then show your way yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, and everybody. Wolves will, talk, Wolves will be talking about you in the howl. You never know. Oh, oh yeah, I talk about everybody in the howl. All right, on. Well, thanks for uh, doing this here with me tonight, bud. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Thanks I'll to Chowda for you too for having us on here, and uh, yeah, good luck to everyone. Yeah, good luck with the season. Uh, that concludes our draft, and everybody again. Hit Selly with some love, man. Another great show by him. Two nights in a row. He does a lot of good work. And uh, season opener is Sunday. So looking forward to see how that works out for everyone. <laughs>